Alright, hello YouTube, this is KM Huey bringing you when tail, fail teams attack, whatever the hell the episode is. I forgot to check before I started recording. So, this is also a when, hey, when Huey fails video. So, this is the SU-14, this is the stock gun. Um, which, I'll show you, this is pretty crap. So you remember the video I posted yesterday with the damage in the pin. I mean, just look at that, 88 pin. Ugh. So... This is one of my first battles in it. I think it was like my second or third, maybe. Uh, we're going to do this at times two, because I got two replays, and I kind of want you to see most of it, but again, this is like a well win fail team's attack, so not really. Um, you know, too interested on the gameplay. Just mainly our team. So, so far, it's not so bad. Teams. Uh, uh, we got a decent spread. I don't like the fact that our heavy's so far down there in the south, but um, Enemy vehicle out. a decent shot on that IS-3. Actually got the full penetration there. That would have been the full damage, but since he only had 620 HP left, that's all I got. So. Get a full pin on the fucking super pershing, which hell yes. So, um, but here you go. This is what I'm saying. Like our whole team's just sitting in a position to get picked off by their arty, and like the black prince and that is totally in position to get hit by the I the arty. So, so far the teams are even, we're 5-5, five, five. but uh, you'll see, you shall see. It didn't quite lead him far enough. Got so up to four kills already. Almost 3k damage with this crappy gun. That's not bad. Um, believe it or not, I've had actually more penetrating shots with this than the big gun, I think. <laughs> That's funny. So. so this is where the team fails. We have one heavy pushing, and we have all of these jackasses just camping there still. Let's free look. We got... What is this down here? IS-3. Over here, got a Super Pershing. ISU, a T-29. Why aren't they showing up? I don't know why these guys aren't showing up. But, alright, we'll go back. So this T25-2 is trolling me pretty hard with his positioning. Like, I've already shot twice and missed him, and the third time he decides to move. So, like, dang it, right? So if they had supported that IS-3 a little bit more, um, this could have easily have been a, um, a whole different turnout. Uh, turn of events than what's about to happen. So again, didn't quite leave my shot enough. They're 
for ISU set up the snipe and if I remember correctly he doesn't end up doing very much damage so the guns trolling me there that one was outside the reticle so So our ISU is still camping. He's played Artie, so he knows that the Artie can hit 100% of this map, you know, because we can splash behind the rocks and we can hit behind these buildings, and we definitely can't. We can definitely hit behind this building that's non-destructible over here, the one with the big old tower. Yeah. So our ISU finally decides to charge. I'm out of ammo so I'm basically trying to put myself in a position where if they decide to come for us uh, I can't be hit so or you know I'm in the least likely of positions so me and the other already we've done eight kills total uh, the 11 um, so we GG each other <laughs> Both of us are out of ammo. Just gonna speed this up a bit. And we're gonna dry. So that was a draw game. It's really frustrating, especially because that was for a time three, and I was working on the big gun at that point, so it would have been really nice to have that game. Alright, welcome back. The second video of this When Fail Teams Attack episode is going to be, again, my SU-14. This time I had the big gun. Uh, in fact, I just played this game right before I recorded this. So there you go. You can see the difference in the penetration and damage. I mean, you might say, but dude, it's only like, what, 19 pin, I think? I can't remember what the pin was on the first gun. I know, that's sad. I just recorded that video. But... You know, 19 pin makes up for a lot. So we get some good spots on their arty, but we trade a tier 10 and a tier 9 for it. Um, I don't think that was a uh, good choice by our two Russian mediums by any means. But, you know, whatever. We're up 5 to 2. Um, I'm waiting for this SU-14. Like, I almost took a shot because it, part of him was sticking out but I held it and that's a good thing I did because the other two already decided to clear that building for me so we're still up 7-5 but we're down two tier 10s three tier 10s you know like it's just it's painful so um, I must say this is my favorite spot if you spot on this part of the map the side of the map for Artie, um, because you can back away from that building, get your shots off, and then tuck in close to avoid any kind of counter bat, so the only thing is, is that that, that this, right, oop, hang on, let me show you the shot go alright, so the only thing that's a pain is this building right here, this big tall building, it like makes it really hard to shoot at anything over here because as you can see it totally just blocks dang near everything you do so E100 charges in get a kill on him and our team just folded due to three poorly played tier 10s our IS-7, our E-50M, and our T-62. Just idiots. But, no, well, hey. I'm covering up their names on my screen with my hands so you guys can't see it. Wink, wink. So you, so I'm not shaming anybody by name. Uh, in fact, I'm not singling anybody out. It's three people. So, I was like, well, I'll get a shot off on this E-75 before I die. There was no point in running. I'm way too slow. So, all right, G, 
to the G, to the G. Alright, thanks to y'all for watching. Uh, thanks, y'all. Well, whatever. Thank y'all for watching. Uh, go ahead and check out Psychic Goldfish Prods. Uh, Tofu just put up a couple of replays yesterday. Uh, I finally managed to talk him into recording, even with the cough. He's going to say that he just got tired of not recording, but in reality, as I told him, you guys were harassing the shit out of me for you, um, that channel not having any videos lately. And uh, basically harassed him into, into doing that. So to make up for it, you should all go over there and make fun of him for coughing. So, all right. Um, yeah, go ahead and check out Psychic Goldfish Pods on YouTube and on Facebook. Also, go ahead and check out PathOfExile.com. I know I'm harping on this. And I know uh, there's a couple of you that already said you don't like our action RPGs just due to the fact that you play and you farm up gear and then it gets boring because you can't die. But I will tell you that this game has a really interesting twist to it. When you hit, uh, when you finish the actual, you know, the run through all the different difficulty levels and um, um, get to the quote unquote end game stage, you get map drops. Uh, for mobs, and then you can like, uh, in, you know, make them harder by increasing, you know, like the rarity of it. So you can your normal map starts out normal, so it's white. You can turn it into a blue map, so a magic map, and it's a little bit harder. And then you can make it, you can make it a rare map or yellow, so it's even harder. And then each map has like different. Uh, I want to say, you know, like you get all players get minus. 30% to elemental uh, resistances. All all mobs do nothing but elemental damage. You know stuff like that. Um, uh, lava pits on the floor that you have to walk through, but every time you walk through, you take fire damage, and you already have minus resist to elemental damage. So you know you kind of have to watch your HP to get bosses. You can increase the number of mobs. You can uh, increase the quantity of items dropped. Um, and this is all on the maps. Also, you can, uh, what is it? Um, you, there's these things called chisels, which you can uh, increase the quality of the maps before you go ahead and make them rare, so that makes them even harder. Um, stuff like that. And then, uh, here's the good, here's the reason why I'm saying check this game out. It's free to play. You only have to donate money to get into the closed. You may have to to get into the open, I don't know, but when it comes out, it's going to be free to play. I, I wouldn't expect you to have to pay to get an open beta if it's going to be free to play when it launches, but uh, don't quote me on that. So, and here's the other reason why I think the game is going to be amazing. The development team <coughs> is totally into the game. They're constantly putting on events, so there's like, you know, one hour hardcore ladder races. You know, at the end, the top ten players each get these uh, necks. Uh, these necklaces that bind to their account, you can put in the stash, and everybody can grab. That uh, you know that if they, when they sell it in the microtransaction place, it's going to be worth a lot of money. So, you know, they just give it away for free to the top people. Plus, the competition in that game is ridiculous. They just started a week-long race. I want to say 60 hours ago, and there's like already a group of people that are like level. 70 or something which is pretty damn ridiculous when you think about it because um, during the last week long race the top players were only like level 86 87 and that was after 7 days so you know the competition it just gets the times get faster the levels get higher every time they do um, hour long 3 hours long they do a week long um, they do Something called a hardcore turbo. I've never actually seen it, and I don't exactly know what uh, is in it. But there's they they um, for some of the races they allow partying. So as you group up, you, the mobs are harder and they drop better loot, and you get more experience. Um, some of them they don't allow partying. Some of them they allow trading. So like you can sell stuff and trade, chat, or some of them they don't allow trading. So. You know, it just it makes it really interesting, and like I've been spending a lot of time lately trying to perfect my hour to three hour race. Because um, if you remember the first three hour race I entered in, I ended up 156th 
out of like 682 people, which to me that wasn't bad. Yeah, it's 156, but that's my first race, man. So, and plus I only been playing the game for a few days. So, um I I've been playing I I was messing around on the week long race the last couple days. Uh the first day I got up to like level 27. I died on the very last boss on the first difficulty. Um I was trying out a class I never played before. It was melee and I got stuck like a group of mobs kind of surrounded me so I couldn't move and then the boss if you within melee range he hits you with like this super uber hit and it one shot me so I died then I started up a ranger because I have a little bit more experience with that and I uh, um, I made it just to the end of uh, act one on cruel difficulty and I went into that cave I don't remember if I showed you guys but they um, it's got those little ghosts that kind of do like the the uh, the blink behind you and then hit you really hard thingy it's called a flicker strike well it's got a bunch of those and uh, I shouldn't have gone in there at that level but uh, I was almost to the end and then I got uh, 10 of those mobs on me and I died so <laughs> I'm probably gonna start another character I'm not you know my goal is just to make it to merciless at this point um, I'm, I'm not looking to to place very high but uh, you guys should check out the uh, twitch.tv forward slash roomkind. He should be streaming this week, but he's doing the race, and he was, last time I checked, he was like level 66, so he's he's up there, you know, he's he's competing. And he even started like um, six hours late or something like that, so check him out, dude. He's a really cool guy, and uh, I've been babbling for a long time, so I'm going to cut this off now. So I hope you all have a good night, day, slash morning, wherever you are, and uh, I'll catch you all later.